the nice crisp morning up here in the Dallas area. Just made myself some coffee. Starting the day here with, with Old Red. I got in last night and I wanted to just uh, start a vlog because I feel confused in life right now. This is weird, weird time, guys, because you know the brain surgery was a big deal leading up to it, and now it's like, okay, I survived. I'm getting better. Um, I'm almost 100%. I have a little bit of misdirection, you know. I'm, 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 I'm kind of planning for 2018, but I just at the moment I'm just in a dull mood, you know, because you know fishing in December not so hot I don't want to push the limits too far so I'm just in a strange strange mood and I thought it'd be a good idea to meet up with some of my buddies since I haven't I haven't really hung out with anybody except Ocean Spoon Girl in a long time maybe get some some inspiration get some uh, get some get some good positivity get some po positive moods today we are going to be uh, going out to a little ranch we're going to be doing some fun stuff with uh, the free range company which I've talked about with you guys a little bit it's coffee it's Americana it's um, it's freedom attitude brand is what it is so we're gonna be doing some work with that today launching that and just having some fun in the outdoors with friends that's what you got to do I'll be honest with you I kind of have the itch to go fishing but this boat hasn't been charged in over a month so you know what that means batteries are dead Ola I got in here this morning already, got it all figured out. Two of the batteries were dead. I had to jump them, get them going again. And I think I need to go get this thing like like tuned up, you know, before I get back out on the water since I haven't, I haven't really been out on it in a while. It's bad to leave your motor just sitting there for a long time, you know. You want to make sure to constantly run it at least a couple times a month. And just been sitting here lonely, man. Nobody's been fishing in old red. And I opened up my rod box a second ago, and uh, there's hardly anything in here. I got like five rods. I think four four of those rods have reels on them. And now I'm wondering, like, where the heck did I put the rest of my rods and reels? You know, when I got back from the Amazon, I think I. I kind of detached everything and I'm, I'm just not really sure right now and I got a big trip coming up a huge monstrous bass fishing trip coming up I don't know if that's gonna be like my kickoff of returning to the water It'd be a be a hell of a way to kick it off but just get back I just need to step back in it guys so that's what today's about follow along with the vlog it's a little random but I want to carry you guys along with me and like I've told you before it honestly it just helps it just helps to talk to you, to get things off my chest. I already feel better uh, this morning just talking because I've just been in these weird moods. I don't know if it's just coming off medication or what. I know that sounds weird because I'm always you know, trying to be positive, and I do, but it's like now I have to dig deep. I have to dig deep, man. Brain surgery, medication, it's nothing to joke about. All right, let's go join the other boys. Let's see what we got going on today. You're, you're gonna let me do my thing. I don't know Robert. I'm I can't find my words. I need help doing my first intro back into the outdoors. Can back, you back in the outdoors? Hit me with a squat, please. Dude, you Get the energy it. high. Oh, I worked out this morning. I got the insides have been thighs are hard. So this is what we had this morning, though. We had a little bit of this. A little is bit that of what you had? The freedom rose. You had freedom? I actually, I had a little speed goat action. I was in a speed goat kind of mood <laughs> this morning. So this is this is my first time venturing back into the the outdoors here. Look at it. Look at it happening right now. There's lots of open land, free range. It's a free range out here. This is weird. This is weird. <laughs> well, you know, I, think you got a, I think you got a really good. Ooh, it's kind of it's like it's a, it's a little bumpy. They cracked your skull wide open. They cut they cut it here, peeled yeah. this flap, made a hole like a pumpkin, pulled that to the side. Went in, separated my brain layers, got a Willis out, and then so cracked, closed it okay, sucker so back up. Okay, actually crack your skull. Oh yeah, I got a, I got a nice little. I can't feel any of this right here, so it's all good. We're also joined by Ryan, What's who up? looks like a swamp monster right now. That's me. But Ryan was nice enough to uh, to let us come out to to this beautiful property here. This is strange because this is like 10 minutes from where I grew up. So uh, I've actually dove hunted somewhere out here before, but today. We're going yodi hunting. 
I got camo underwear on. Does that count? Are you bringing a bag out? I'm gonna bring, oh, I can bring, oh, we got a tactical strap here? Yeah. So, you turn that over? Yep. Wow. Tasty weapon to oh, uh, take down a coyote. I mean, it's there. It I usually just use Grandpa's 22, but uh, that right there it's will do. It's a little bit better. Right now, probably many of you are wondering, shooting a gun is probably not the best thing to do after you've had a brain surgery and your skull's not totally healed. However, this one doesn't kick much at all. Having the suppressor on there is actually a very nice treat because number one, it's not loud. Um, and number two, it also reduces the recoil dramatically. So this is essentially like shooting a 243 or a 22. No big deal, no big kick to it. Just walking through the woods now. Walking down a dirt road, back in the outdoors. At least I have something to talk about. Look at. So I'm sitting inside of a room. Here goes Ryan, swamp monster. He's uh, he's heading out to put the call in place. Me and Rob are gonna get set up here with our pods, and uh, we got a large field right here. We got plenty of space. Hopefully, we can see him coming up towards us. The wind's not too bad, so we shouldn't get winded if they come from that way. Rob is decked out in camo. I'm in very comfortable free range apparel. See who gets spotted first. Get him, missed him, missed him, missed him over the top. Go, 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 go. Get him, get him. Okay, yes, I missed. I missed. a little bit more didn't it at all this thing's like shooting a 22 there's no there's no sound so i screwed up so what can i say leave your comments below <laughs> we're gonna head to another hole you okay rob I see myself right in the balls of my <laughs> Yeah, there's two of them. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let's go this way. That's a pig. Yeah, that's a One thousand percent sure that's a pig. So, I am, uh, I'm, I'm over, but I gotta say, that is what I needed right there, Robert. I needed, I needed to get out into the woods, feel the heart throbbing experience of seeing an animal. Almost worked out with the hogs, you know. We took a risky move trying to, to kill a bunch of them. You can't replace that feeling. There's just, there's nothing like it in the world. You know, maybe on a good Saturday night after a glass of whatever with your companion, but nothing like that good old outdoor feeling. Get that, that heart pumping. I'm sorry, that went a little sideways, <laughs> just like that, that little pig excursion. <laughs> One more thing, Rob. Rob's gonna show us today. He's, he's, he's uh, spraying me down with snickerdoodle sauce right now. You got, I wish you guys could smell this. <laughs> What's that stuff called? 
Nose jammer. It smells good. It smells like OSG's cookies. OSG's cookies. Hey there. Hey there, buddy. Look at armadillos. Aren't they fun? There he goes! Look at it. I didn't know they could move that fast. We've got a pretty pond here. Rob's actually filing a report. Um, he actually got a new job as an outdoor writer. And uh, you can check him out. <laughs> at, uh, what's your website again? I forgot. It's uh, snickerdoodlewoodwalk.com. I'm just kidding. He's checking trail cameras. Coyote? Oh, that's a bobcat. That's a bobcat. That's a bobcat, dude. Look at that, dude. Look at those eyes. You don't get that very often. Needed these little outdoor moments today, y'all. Ah, I feel whole again. I feel like it should have been a better day. It was a good day, Rob. We'll get back at it soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Very soon. Exactly. Hello. I left you. Hello. I was just gonna not say anything and see what you do. I'm just gonna sit here in silence. <laughs> and let my cup do the talking. Are you happy to see me? Of course I'm happy to see you. I'm always happy to see you. I had to end this video with OSG. Just wouldn't be, wouldn't be the good old same vlog without OSG. So. You're stuck with me now. I'm stuck with you All you life. fishing freaks are stuck with me now. Just quickly, how's that e-book going, babe? It's already up. Yeah. It's already available for purchase. If you guys want to go out to my blog, the link is on the very, very top menu bar. Just click it and it'll lead you right to it. Make sure to go check it out if you want to get those uh, OSG snickerdoodle cookies and the rest of the great stuff. That's in there. The cookies are in there, right? The cookies are in there. All right. That's why I would go there. Oh, we're just going to come in here to the, uh, the old garage in this vlog. I got to tell you, I've been spending a lot of time, as you guys know, You've been watching the videos, just in the house, uh, looking at a computer, looking at machines. I haven't been in the outdoors. I needed today. I needed today pretty bad because I was just in this lost form. I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm literally, I'm lost without the outdoors. I need it in my life. I need OSG. Winston was a big part of my life. He, he brought me such great joy every day, but, when you get outside of that, when you get outside of family, I, that's what I gotta have. I gotta have the outdoors in my veins. That's what makes me just feel whole. So I gotta thank Rob from Lunkers TV for uh, inviting me out today and uh, especially Ryan. Uh, you guys probably didn't see a whole lot of Ryan today. He was in camo and he had to, he had to jet out, but he let us um, head out to his property and I, me and Ocean Spoon Girl, I actually met Ryan before he showed up at a uh, Randy Rogers concert. If you guys saw that video where we went down there, so shout out to him. And if you guys have not checked out Free Range yet, do it. If you like coffee, you gotta go there. You gotta get yourself some coffee. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you guys go there. Shop there, it supports us. It supports what we believe in. That's freedom, Americana, and just good old, good old fashioned outdoors, baby. So I think you're gonna enjoy it. Everybody's favorite roast so far has been the Freedom Roast. I gotta say my favorite is the uh, Early Morning Bite. Uh, but there's four different roasts there you can see, depending on what your tastes are. I don't know what tomorrow brings, but I hope it's something in the outdoors. I got a wedding to go to with OSG, and I'm trying to find a way to get in the outdoors at some point. All y'all married fishing freaks know, know how that goes. But until that time comes, make sure to go spend some time in the outdoors. Spend some time with your family, and I'll see you on the next one.